bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I helped defend this grove. I'm not your enemy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow, I'm really accumulating inspiration. I might as well. I would like to see what she has to say. Seriously? Okay. That's better. Okay, where the heck did they hide the house? Is this the house here? Okay, this is not the house. Where do we live? What the heck? Did I take a wrong turn? Nope, not there. I am probably the first person in the history of... Oh, maybe it's this way. Maybe I'm easier. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god, that was I like that. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. That's... Um... Thanks, Auto Drive. Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less... Scroll. <laughs> what is studious? What is studious? What is sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey. Shh. <laughs> so once she's regained her ability to take action, I'm gonna bring her back and she can deliver the stuff that she's collected to us. <laughs> Was that <laughs> no, oh, oh damn it. Oh, crap. Ah, I shouldn't have said anything. Ah. Oh god. Oh why? Chat, why? <laughs> oh my god, what was that physics rag dulling? Holy crap. I'm gonna show you what I've done with Starlight Drive In. Hanging out with Valentine. Good for you. You're out of uniform, sir. was a bit preoccupied. Oh! Oh my god! How strong are these Dilophosaurus? Wow! All the living shall fear the dead. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Uthgard. That was perfect. Oh my god, so many... What is going on? Why are there so many dead people? Do we still... Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. There you go. Arrow to the knee. Now you can no longer be an adventurer. Sorry, I don't make the rules. 
At this point, I should probably be level one or two. I'm level... what level am I, actually? 54. Gotcha. I guess this way it is. Now, where's this other guy? There we go. Oh. There we go. Now we, there we go. Play with plasma, I'll show you how to play with plasma. That's how you play with plasma. Okay, what do I have to do with this? Oh, I think that was just the thing that delivered the thing for the thing. I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. Oh, interesting. <laughs> well, they've messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> Can I call you Bob? <laughs> you may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? Hang on, hang on. We need to examine this air. Oh. So uncivilized. No kidding. You said it, Obi-Wan. Uh oh. Auto drive now disabled. I'd better back off. I did not expect it to get the Albion truck. That's amazing. Think you got him? I played this war of mine back in 2014. It's one of the earliest games I ever played on stream. I call it Depression the Game. I don't play it anymore. How did you not see me? How thin you alive. You leave her alone. This is actually quite Wow. I think I got him. Oh my god. Yes, game, I know. Residential, it's fine. It's fine. I'm actually gonna put a little residential in here. People can 
leave in the park, so no problem. Kill. That worked better than I thought. Oh, boy. Now I'm going to put a bit of a rush on this, which means we might not actually get to... Uh, wow. That's okay. That is a rite of passage every Valheim player must go through. Look at these two. Oh my god, they look so good together. What else have we got here? Oh, how did I miss the donkey head? It's a donkey mask. I don't want to look like a jackass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. So knock it off. <laughs> Cecil has become a paladin. You'd think they'd be suspicious of a little flying helicopter like this buzzing around. Really? Is it break time again? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> We appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. <laughs> this is definitely gonna get up. Guys. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Really? Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Yes, don't Avoid say. the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. So the captain really just uh, is basically in charge of the lights then is what I'm gathering.
Sit back and enjoy the ride. <laughs> oh boy. Um. A little bit of a bumpy road with dragon skeletons everywhere. No problem. I apologize for your impending death, Jeb. Oh wait, he's actually climbing. What the hell? Well, so much for that. So? Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. A little bit later than I expected. I apologize. It's been a day. Partly a really, really good day. And partly, what the hell happened today kind of day. So, we're going to do some City Skylines. We were going to originally do some Broken Sword. But... Last time I played, I don't know if maybe I forgot to save, or maybe I did save, but it didn't take, but whatever the case, I've lost all my progress from the last session, so that's really irritating. I'm going to have to replay that off stream and catch us up, and then we can continue with that, but I definitely want to do that, because that game is really, really fun, so that will happen at some point. I will have some time off stream sometime this month. So I will probably do that during that time period. How's it going, everybody? Sketchy, it's good to see you. Aaron, Laura, what's going on? Crystal Dragon 22 wonderful to have you here. How's everyone doing? Thank you for the shout-out. California, what's going on? It's good to see you. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to continue on with the city building and see what we can get up to. Still have this Umber Hills area that we might want to develop at some point. Our cash flow is looking better. We still seem to have some issues, power lines, but I don't think they're really terribly important at the moment, at least. The airport is a crime-ridden hellhole, and the police don't seem to want to go there to the point that I'm thinking maybe I need to build a police station right here or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess. But yeah, so it's been a day. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all well. So last time we were here, we did finally build the very beginnings of an airport. I'm starting to maybe suspect that this island might be a little small. We're going to have to get the land over here. Can we... Oh. Isn't that interesting? Mind if I do? Oh, wait a minute. Crap. Hang on. Uh, actually, no. I'm not going to save the game. We're going to quit. I forgot. I added more mods, and one of them... I've got uh, the infinite money mod enabled because I've got an off-stream game where I decided to try and play that way. Uh, and I challenged myself to always try to keep my cash flow in the green so that it didn't matter so much that I didn't actually have to worry about money. So I just wasn't allowed to go in the red at all. And it's actually been surprisingly fun. But I don't want that enabled for this particular playthrough. So let's not save the game. We're going to quit back to the menu and reload. Uh, oh. I just did... Oh, did I quit the desktop? I didn't mean to do that. See, it's that kind of day. Still sick, but all right. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, CD. I hope you get better. Is there any improvement, at least? I hope you get better fast. Okay. Content manager. Uh, we want mods. What are the new ones that I added? Oh, uh, there's a new version of the 81 tiles mod. That was one that used to be throwing errors. I've now got that one. That one I actually might go with. So that means we wouldn't have to worry about where we build. I'm kind of okay with that one. But we definitely don't want the money cheat one. Where are you? Unlimited money? No. 
No. Oh, actually, well. Nah, we'll leave that one off. If we run out of oil and ore, we'll just have to import it. That's not a big deal. Unlimited soil? No, we'll turn that one off too. Okay. Now let's see which map it loads up. This is probably going to load up my uh, my off-stream save. Meds and cough drops are helping. That's good to hear. What is that 81 tiles mod? Oh, it basically allows you to just unlock all possible 81 tiles that it's you know potentially buildable. So you don't have to unlock them through game progression. Especially because if you're playing by normal game rules, you can't unlock 81 tiles anyway. I think you can get like... Um, I'm not sure how many it is, but it's a very small number out of the potential possible max. Cuboid, welcome on in. Oh, uh, I think it's just called 81 Tiles, California. Just be careful because there's an older version that I wasn't able to get working and I had to keep it disabled. But now I'm able to, like, there, it's like 81 Tiles 2 or something, and it's an updated version and it works. Yeah, exactly, Cuboid. Thank you. Okay, so what do we got here? The new one works better than the old one ever did. That's good to know. I, I Yeah, I was able to use it. I might accidentally be able to show you right here if we're loading up the wrong game. I probably should have specified the game instead of continuing, but we'll see what happens. The full map consists of 81 tiles, 9 by 9, but tile borders are only shown for the 25 middle tiles. Out of those, 9 tiles are unlockable in the base game. Yeah. Uh, this does indeed look like my off-stream game, so, yeah, basically, 81 tiles means that I can potentially, if I feel like it, build right out to here, without having to unlock anything. It means you have our ridiculous gargantuan potential buildable area. Yeah, and all the way up into the corner as well, not just along the highway. So all the way out here, if you feel like it. But this is not where we want to be, so let's... Why can I not... Ex oh, exit to main menu has been disabled by 81 tiles mod to protect your save game from corruption. Okay, fair enough. I guess we're going to quit to desktop then. For me, that would be a mod I'd actually use. Yeah, I, I, I like it quite a bit. Especially because we are doing this airport thing. Although, if we're going to do the airport, and I had never built an airport before the one that we built in the on-stream game, I hadn't realized how much space they could potentially take up, and I'm feeling very confined on our little island there. I might actually end up relocating it to another island. So let's just get the game going again here, and we'll load up the proper save this time. I think it was uh, basing the game that it loaded based on the last save date, and I've played my off-stream game more recently than the on-stream one, so it defaulted to that. Did you build a Billy Bishop? I don't know what that is, Kellen Ray, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> This game has many issues with loading a second time. In particular, mods don't always handle it well. Quitting the game completely is much better. Okay, well, it's not that big a deal for me, so as long as it works better, I'm okay with that. I'm going to specifically load Crowd Control Frozen Hellville C because I'm really good at naming stuff. The name of the... Oh, yes. Then in that case, I did, Kellen, right? I did indeed. You write mods for this game. That's amazing, Cuboid. I try to make them work on second loads, but it's better to just quit every time. Okay, that's good to know. That's awesome. What kind of mods do you work on? I've always kind of wanted to learn how to mod games. So I've actually worked as a game designer. I've worked in the industry on the, like, you know 
actually creating the game from the original point. But I've never done modding before, and it always just seems really, really cool. Hey, Winters, how's it going? It's good to see you. Yeah, I really like that off-stream game, though, in a way. Um, I, I used a map I've never used before, and it has kind of a European setting, and I had never played on a European map before, and it changes the look of basically all the buildings that spawn in and that you can place down, and it's actually really beautiful. I really love the feel of it all. It's really, really nice. So maybe after we're done with this one, we might do something similar with the next one, just go for a city with a very different kind of architectural style. I write a few mods. Your main one is called Move... You know what? I think I might actually have Move It in here. <laughs> that might be one of the ones that I've got. It sounds very familiar. If only you knew what game devs say about modders in back chatter. Like the fact that they are kind of personally responsible for keeping games alive long after their expected shelf life expectancy. Modders are awesome. Yeah, so we have our little island airport over here, which is pretty terrible. It's my first one ever. I don't know how to get the police to visit. Other than maybe building a police station nearby. But that's ridiculous. Whoever builds police stations near areas of high crime. Also, why the heck do we have parking right here? My god. <laughs> Some mutters also say things about game devs. You don't say. <laughs> okay. Um, I can imagine. Good to see you too. Hope you're all doing well. I'm... It's It's been a bit of a day. Honestly, Winters. There's been a lot of really good stuff. Like, uh, the new upload speed that I've got continues to impress. I just casually uploaded four different VODs, and it only took just a couple of minutes. Well, more than a couple of minutes. It was like 10 minutes. But all of that time, like, the actual upload time was invisible, because in every case, I entered the metadata for the video as I uploaded it to YouTube, and by the time I was done entering the metadata, the upload was complete. I don't even know how long it took to upload because I didn't see the process. It was so fast. So all of the Secret of Monkey Island VODs are up there, and uh, the VOD for yesterday's stream is up, up there as well. And it's just blowing my brain how quick it all works. It's so good. The devs think a lot of themselves, and it basically amounts to there are those who can make games and there are modders. Well, okay, I can believe that, Aaron Arp. And I would say to them, that is very true. There are those who can make games and there are modders. But the two overlap a lot more than you're willing to give them credit for, so... Shut your face. Not you, Aaron Arp. I mean, this hypothetical person speaking that way about modders. There are those who can make games and those who can finish them and make them work right. Wow, Callan Ray. Enough modders have gone on to make games that it's getting better. Yeah. I guess it depends, too, what studios you look at. Uh, okay, now I need to remember. Where is... There. Oh, maybe I... Would your Move It mod appear in mod settings here? Maybe I don't have that one. Maybe I need to get that one. Okay, that's probably going to make the game look like it's freezing for a little while. Oh, okay. I think we're good. We now have the entire map available to us. So I can finish building on this if I want to. I might do that. I could always make it a multi-island airport, I suppose. This island here looks like it's got lots of room for more runways. If I needed that. 
I have to figure it out. You don't have Move It. I looked for my mods when you were disabling unlimited money. You don't use any of mine. Move It was... Why did I think I had Move It then? I think that might have come up in conversation. I think... One of the last times that I streamed this, somebody was asking if there's a way that you can change the elevation of a road after it's been placed. And I think Move It came up as a topic of conversation. I don't know if it was a solution or a possible solution, but I know it was brought up. We discussed it heavily and I recommended it to you. Okay, then I'm definitely putting that on the list of mods I need to get. Maybe we'll just make this beginning... Oh, no. Oh, okay, I thought I clicked the wrong thing. We're gonna save this. In light of what you've said, I'm just gonna quit to desktop. We're gonna add... Move it, because that seems cool. That was you, California. Excellent. Move it's the only way that you know of. Because I didn't even think it was possible at all, with or without mods. So, the idea that that might be possible, that's really cool. You were the one asking about elevating lowering streets. That's awesome, California. So, this is just a loading uh, City Skylines stream. Now, we're not actually going to play. We're just going to load the game over and over. I hope that's okay. You have one of the fine roads mods. Soon they will be removed and you'll be transferred to your mod network anarchy. Well, that's maybe another change we can make right now then. I mostly use the uh, the fine road one because I've been using it for a long, long time. And I didn't realize it was going to be discontinued. So I'm okay with trying something new, especially if you're here to maybe answer the odd question, although I won't bug you about it a lot. So let's go to our... I I can't click on anything. So we're going to keep these... I'm going to disable that. I, we don't need that anymore, I hope. Fine Road Anarchy, is this the one? Let's turn that off, I suppose. I never liked the way this one does the interfacing. I like the stuff you could do with it, but I don't necessarily like... That's the one? Okay, cool. And you guys won't be able to see me browsing the uh, thing, but I'm going to add move it. Movable bridge mod. Oh, I could use that. The, the, uh, the bridge out to my airport is really terrible. And your network anarchy mod. I'm going to add that. I like that you've got a left-hand network fix. Node spacer. I see that we d you don't really need that, but uh, need that that even existed. Okay. Yeah, I had this auto money thing because <laughs> uh, crowd control can do interesting things to a city. I discovered that if you place the Hadron Collider in a city and allow it to remain long enough that your city levels up to meet the elevated um, land values, and then you delete the Hadron Collider, it's not good for the city. Okay, we're going to enable that. And we're going to enable that. And then we're going to continue on. You're here to get the blame? Excellent. Oh, and we have ads in progress. I apologize.
Just waiting here for the ads to be over. We've got about five seconds left. Okay, welcome back, folks. I apologize for the ads. Usually I cut the clips for those, but I didn't even notice they were going until they were almost done this time. You just did a big update for Network Anarchy about two hours ago. That's okay. We're running crowd control, so clearly I don't really value my save that highly. <laughs> I, I was actually commenting it was probably covered up by the ads, but um, I discovered that one of the reasons I had the money cheat not the uh, not the unlimited money, but the actual auto money cheat enabled is because we had crowd control going and I was gifted randomly the Hadron Collider monument. And I didn't realize I've never used that before in a city. So I didn't know... Wait, what? Override zone collision button controls with the path fences. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, but yeah, I had never used the Hadron Collider monument in a city before, and so I didn't understand the total scope of the effects that it had. It was randomly gifted to, to me, and I just placed it, and I just kind of left it there until I noticed that it was eliminating my need to place schools, and I really like placing and decorating school areas. So I deleted it. Unfortunately, like half my city had already upgraded to the new land values that the Hadron Collider provides. So deleting the Hadron Collider after the fact sent my city into a massive death spiral. And it took forever and a lot of offline play with money cheats to try and get it back into something resembling control. And I'm honestly not even sure that it's really under control even now. But it seems to be mostly under control. So I'm nervous but okay with disabling the money cheat. <laughs> We've watched Futurama, so we know how to give useful feedback. Gonna make a late night snack, but you have your headphones on. I'll be listening, but back in a bit. No problem, California. Enjoy. Okay. Oh, right. I forgot we set up fairies. The new pop-up works. I'm okay with being a guinea pig. That's fine. All right. Let's... Okay, first of all, I like the fact that there's no weird anarchy UI thing over here. That's a plus in my book. Oh, I like this. What the heck is this? This is neat. I like it. Okay, um... Toggle anarchy. Toggle straight slope, don't follow terrain shape. I like that as an option. Forces the use of bridge pieces if available. That's cool. So you could bridge over a ravine instead of an actual water slope, like a water area. That's pretty neat. <laughs> Forces the ground to follow the elevation of the road. That's a fun one. Let's build a pool in crowd control. Oh my god. Which is so great for bug testing. This feedback is worth a thousand workshop comments. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me, honestly. Unmodded road placement behavior. Toggle node snapping. Okay. Override zone collision. So... Gord's been a human guinea pig for many things, like he's part of this experiment group it is being told that Canada is real and they're in it. Wow. It's true though. I've done a I've I've worn a lot of hats in video games. I've been a designer, I've been a writer. I've done quality control testing on basically every level from being one of the testers to running the testing. It, it's yeah. I also have a natural gift for breaking software and often sometimes even figuring out why it broke or at least identifying things that can help in uh, fixing it. So I am well versed in the ways of the guinea pig. 
Um. So let's. What is this trying to build? Okay, so it's doing bridges. It really likes doing bridges, doesn't it? Need to update the workshop page to mention the zone override thing. It sets whether or not placing a path or a fence will remove zoning on the side of it that is faced away from the road. Oh, I can... Okay, so you can... Oh, very nice. That fits in quite well over here. Also, hang on, just uh, one little thing. Just need to adjust my game screen here. There we go. So you guys can see the entire thing. So, I guess I could just redo this bridge in theory if I wanted to do it that way. But if I wanted to fix this ugly slope and make it a little more consistent across the board, how might I go about doing that? I think it has to start at basically this elevation, but then I need to redraw it so that it's here and then hope that it goes down there and I can redo some of this road if I want to, I guess. Would it be possible to just elevate this higher and hope that it doesn't break this stretch here because it's too short? Click on the move it icon on the bottom right. Uh, network multi tool. Nope, nope. Bottom right. Oh, hang on. Is this it? Oh, my God. Oh, this is cool. Then click on the node and page, press page up. Okay. Ooh, can you, can you control the stepping? That's a little slow. I mean, I can see how that's really useful actually. Follow terrain, toggle snapping. That's probably what I want. Single selection. Gift up, okay. Oop, oop. Maybe I don't want to work with the entire segment there. Nope. Not that. Hang on. This is what I mean by I'm really good at finding issues. Come on, there we go. That looks about right. I'm not one to find issues, I find bugs. Nice. 
There are more advanced ways to do this quickly, but baby steps, hey, for my very first time, I'm pretty okay with that. And that gave a very good result, so that's really cool. I like that a lot. So that's one bridge fixed and one eyesore that I had really been regretting from before. So that's really nice. Now. Oh, crap. Okay, so we aren't going to squeeze a whole lot of parking in here. But we'll do what we can. Get that at least. Oh my god, what happened to those cars? <laughs> what on earth? Okay, I, I... think they just went on the ride of their lives, but it seems to have settled itself out. <laughs> I so want to go to the park now. Why do I have to work? The universal question on everybody's mind. Okay, so that's that. Um, I think I've just basically resigned myself to the idea that... Ooh, things returning. That uh, the police are never going to show up here. Traffic will be a bit crazy after you change a road they are using. Okay, fair. Good to know. But it seems to sort itself out, so that's not too terrible. Elisa basically patrols. Yeah, so I think... I had originally intended this island to be the exclusive home of this park, and it was just going to be massive, but I think that's way too massive for one park. I mean, hell, it's bigger than Airport Island over here. What on earth was that plane doing? Um, so I think we're probably going to end up making this a bit of a smaller amusement park. And I'll do another little maybe high value neighborhood up here. Oh, I guess we can fix this up too now. So we'll do a like a... A neighborhood zoned up here. We'll have a police station. Not just for the airport, because that's silly, but it'll give me an excuse to put a police station near the airport so they can go across and patrol. Airports might have a bug with crime. Yours always have lots, too. It's those international drug syndicates, I tell you. They're just so hard to keep under control. Wait, oh, there we go. Okay. remember the other mod. I only just started using this one recently. I think... There, ah, there we go. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. What the... Oh, okay. thought the mod was behaving strangely. I had my finger on the wrong keys. Oh, um, 
Right. It's trying to put more keys down. We don't need that. We want four lanes, bike paths, and median trees. I think I had my spacing wrong. I might also want to do a little bit of terrain smoothing before I do that. I moderate one of my friends' discords. Two of his friends just spammed for a solid half hour. It took me almost 1.5 hours to create a muted roll to stop him. First, I timed him out to work on it, though, so okay. Hello, time to arc. Good luck with that. Have fun. That sounds like a mess. Thank you very much to everybody who's in my discord for not doing that to me. I do appreciate it. Okay, how about we do this instead? up the coast afterwards. It's fine for now. That looks pretty reasonable. Got Norwegian, welcome on in. How's it going? I don't think my friend would want him banned or kicked, so a small timeout was just fine. Yeah, well... That's probably the safe way to go. I would tend to prefer that method myself, usually. Depends on what they're spamming, I suppose, and how well I know them. Okay. Uh, going pretty good now. It's been a bit of a day. Lots of things going right, lots of things going wrong. My airport is still on fire. What the hell? Okay. Uh... Okay. Accelerating plans a little bit.
Hmm. I wouldn't have sunk it into the ground that far myself, but okay. Maybe that's another thing your mod can fix. For now, I think I'm just going to leave it. So that doesn't look like it's quite... Oh, no, actually, you know what? That is about right. But I look at it. Just going to put that there. Lord knows how much modding of games I do so that I had suggested this says things to him. Yes, it does. Oh, crap. Okay. That doesn't look quite right anymore. Yeah, I kind of figured. That's, you know, things will slip through the cracks. Very understandable. But, no, but the high crime, it's over. Damn it. Oh, but the fire trucks, they come. Weird. At least they stopped the airport from burning down. That's a plus. Oh, they used the choppers to do it. That's funny. Oh, that's a that's not even a fire truck, it's road maintenance. And a snow plow. Wow. Oh, okay, they actually did send a fire truck as well. I wasn't imagining that. It's a fiery airport kind of day. It still beats the time that I had the ice cube factory catch on fire in my winter map. Okay, what else is going on elsewhere in the city? We've got our university up here. This area down here is growing pretty nicely. How's the music scene looking? Where did we put the music scene? Ah, here we go. Elijah Modi's not doing so well. Oh, never mind, actually he is. Okay. Media broadcast building's doing okay. I kind of think I need more snow plows. They don't seem to be doing a very good job anymore. I don't think it can get more crazy than a burning ice cube factory. That's true. Well... I mean, I say that, but then all kinds of other stuff has happened. Oh, it looks like we don't need this anymore. Oops, sorry. Just clicked. Going on here. Not enough raw material. You're supposed to import raw material. I need to come up with a better solution than this. You know, I went to all this trouble to elevate all of these roads over the train tracks. I probably should have just elevated the train tracks over the road. 
I want to hear what was more crazy than a fire at an ice cube factory in winter. There was also the time that chat decided crowd control was really fun and they meteored my city twice in a row and the craters overlapped one another at a time when I had just begun building the city and only had a tiny, tiny, not tiny little patch of developed land. It was a direct hit twice in the same spot in the only part of the city that was developed. I would argue that that is probably a little more crazy. Okay, I'm starting to think this road here might need a bit of an upgrade. Unfortunately, I can't really tell what kind of road we've actually got there. Can we upgrade to... No, why not? Probably already that type, isn't it? And I've got a fire station and sand storage on here, so upgrading it to a wider road is going to be a pain in the ass. Ugh. I'm just going to have to remind myself that while it's slow and looks terrible, it is moving steadily and not worry about it. Okay, uh, so we have demand for residential and commercial. We're going to fill some commercial around here because this is supposed to be our major commercial area. This is all leisure and this stuff over here is touristy trap stuff so actually let's verify that whoa what oh thunderstorm thanks guys meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days citizen okay we'll get to the thunderstorm in just a minute ads are just about to start so i'm gonna go to some clips take a quick break and i'll be back in three and a half to five minutes <laughs> Oops. So I don't suppose this decorative pool has any special science stuff to it. Looks like we've maybe got three left. Did I say three? I meant two. Uh... escalated quickly tabletops have the best return for me so far for me i think it's got to be rim world oh my triple kill realize that when we went to winterhold and I finally got my room at the college, and I... what the hell is... What? <laughs> That's so cool! Oh. 
Uh-oh. Auto drive now disabled. I'd better back off. <laughs> I did not expect it to get the Albion truck. That's amazing. I'm just trying to incite violence between the trigger men and the Oh shoot. Not me. Uh-oh. Uh yeah, okay. That no, that <laughs> That didn't work out quite the way I had hoped it would. I guess this way it is. Now, where's this other guy? Why, you bastards. Get ready, here comes another one. Let's get them. Take him down. Our ammo's replenished. Go on, dump it into the enemy. Nice. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. All right, we've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, so I must apologize in advance for the obscenity you're about to endure. Who's in charge of the pencil case? The ruler. There. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't get here fast enough to spare you from that terrible pun or dad joke, but I'm back now. Are advised to stay indoors. A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors Thank you, until the Thank storm you, has passed. Thank you, Scout. <laughs> All right. We were working down here. Let's get some low density commercial, I think, for the time being. Uh, although, actually, it looks like we could use a bit of road here, too. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. A dad joke is hammering the city. Often true. Often very true. I'm not sure yet how exactly I want to develop the coast, so I'm just going to stick to this inner area here. Anymore. I will verify before I let things run loose again. Yeah, we're good now. Okay. Not sure if I want roads through the middle of these. I kind of like them for the usual patterns of uh, blocks that I've got going. But that would mean extending this down here, and that just seems real small, and this one is just ridiculous. Might get away with it there, though.
can't remember if it was your stream or another, but officially the funniest thing I've seen in Skyrim is the ghostly headless horseman running after his horse. That was mine. That was another clip. That actually only just happened a few months ago. That one clip of the headless horseman where I completely failed to recognize him. I had actually encountered him before in previous playthroughs. It's just that at that time that that clip was recorded, I was coming back to Skyrim after not playing it for a while, and I had completely forgotten the Headless Horseman was in the game. So, it was unexpected. But after the fact, I remembered. Okay. Like, we need this down here. Drag that down there, and then there. Got the issues here, too. enough, I suppose. I was thinking about that moment last night and had to laugh again. Imagine having such a bad night you lose both your head and your horse. Yes. That was a pretty great clip. Okay, now do we still need this power line? Yes. It's a shame. Do some high density along here then. Just so that we get the power bubble over here to there so I can ditch that. Oh, except <laughs> that's gonna be a while. We have no more commercial demand. Well, that's okay. We'll just leave that. It'll develop eventually. Um, what's going on? Oh, we've got a fire at the school. That's fine. It's got to be the toga party. Campus area. We need more attractiveness, do we? Okay, let's see if we can do something about that. a liberal arts college oh oh I might have been too hasty in removing that uh, money oh my god we're so low on cash how did that happen did I spend that much I mostly just built a few roads didn't I but I guess we are a bit in the hole too okay <laughs> Well, let's see what happens if we can get this back to sustainability. It looks like it's improving again. Money had been kind of going on a bit of a cycle where it was, you know, really high and positive and increasing, and then it would drop into the negatives and then go back up again. Hopefully, oh, it's... It's fluctuating wildly, but it doesn't seem to be going back positive. We could be in a little bit of trouble here. Hey, Voidum, how's it going? Oh, getting closer to zero. Let's speed things up a little and see what develops. Bouncing around a lot. Hmm. 
That's one of the problems of having an off-stream playthrough where I you don't have to worry as much about money is I get out of the habit of looking at money. Looks like we might be okay for the time being. Should also check on our stock portfolio. We probably don't have one. I probably sold it. Yeah, okay, we're not currently invested. I'm not gonna look at that anymore then for now. If we get to the point where I've got a bit of a cash surplus, we might take another look at that. Okay, now let's check out the airport again. Even with the police department right there. Yeah, I think you're right. I think airports might just be chronically really heavy crime. Very unfortunate. Especially because that's going to drive me crazy. Or if there's a way to fix that at all. There's a one-way road going past the lower level. Oh, that's an interesting idea. to drive all the way around here to get across the bridge again, but it'd be worth it. So far, we're not seeing any police cars get out of there. Come on. Patrol. take advantage of this extra land we've got here while we wait for police to do anything. Shoreline. Oh, you son of a... Wow. Okay.
Try that. That's better. Similar problem there, aren't we? Okay. So bad. Okay. It's like they literally can't drive past. I know. Oh, wait. No. Oh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Genius. That worked. Thank you. up when we had the island kind of divided between zones. Just smoothing this out just a touch. That looks a little less unnatural. I usually like to preserve the rocks, but on a... Oh, oh, actually, that's true. Hang on. I don't need to manually do all that, don't do I? God, that it's because it's an airport zone. <laughs> Not enough soil. Uh, time to dredge again, I guess. I've got a lot more space to dredge from, at least. Whoa. Meteor strike. Oh, you guys with your meteor strikes. Gonna have a hell of a time now that I've got 81 squares of target area. Good luck hitting anything important. Why is this not scooping up soil? What the heck?
go. Still a few rough edges here and there, but I think that'll do for now. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Be interesting to see if that wave retains enough power to actually reach land anywhere. I love the slow motion splash that they make. That's really cool. Oh, that's... Wow, that's the pollution. Holy crap. It's all over this area of the water. I guess I can move that now, technically. I could put that down here somewhere. Oh, look at that. It's got a secondary wave. That's so cool. I've never seen it have that much water to play in before. When it hits, usually it's a lot closer to land. Unholy crap? Okay, that's fair. Okay. Um... Oh, I forgot that our farm area here upgraded. I'm a little bit all over the place when it comes to my industry stuff. We already have a bakery. I'll say I built a bakery somewhere, but that might have been my other city or an other city. parlor, kettle shed, maintenance building, barracks, barn, kettle shed, flour mill. Maybe I don't have a bakery yet. Hmm. got this area cleared up here. Oh, and I can finally fix these meteor strikes from a long time ago. Like it never even happened. This one was a lucky shot taking out my power for all of my waste disposal.
Actually, this might not be a bad idea for a bakery because we've got really good farmland we can use over here now. So I could expand or even completely relocate this. Because that's, that's only okay agricultural land. This is a lot better. And then I could just continue to develop the more, you know, industrialized, regular sort of um, developed parts of the city. Instead of having this really fancy plaza with the frozen fountain right next to cattle's crops. If you're wondering why I've got so many ridiculous numbers of uh, wires around, I, once again, it's crowd control. Turns out, thunderstorms wreck complete havoc on power lines, especially when you get three of them in ten minutes. Oh, and we have ads in progress again, guys. Sorry about that. I only just noticed. I'll be back in uh, probably two minutes. Holy crap, that was... That might not have hit anything yet. Although, I'm kind of wondering how far that wave might maintain its height. That bridge could be in trouble. Um, but... That was impressive as hell. Oh crap! <laughs> oh. I thought for a moment I was going right into the water. They're not kidding. This is much harder than it should be. I'm going to stick to normal. Ugh, that was atrocious. Wow. I won't bother checking. No! No, Cassandra. No! Damn it, you... <sighs> then why don't you take off the Ask Me About Moon button? My grog-riddled body has fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> wow. It feels too much like this is finished. Okay, and we're back. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, see, I'm really coming back to the idea of maybe greatly expanding my agriculture up into here, because we've got really ridiculously easy access to train lines. It's bounded literally on every side by train lines and highway. What the heck? Let's do it.
Okay. Hey, Jarek, how's it going? It's good to see you. So we'll use that as our main way into this area. We're going to build up into here. I'll probably have to give this some independent power. Oh, uh, we're still... The bad habit time again. We've got some money back again, but we're not exactly rich. Not exactly paying close attention to my cash flow. I gotta get myself snapped out of that habit. Drop this over here. There. I might just leave this as a stub at the moment. There's a bug in network anarchy with elevated paths, so be beware of that. Fixes incoming soon. Until then, I've reverted the mod to be a previous version without this bug. Okay. So... When you mean elevated Meteorologists paths... Meteorologists have issued a severe tornado warning for the area. Residents should see... I can't tell if this is the game or if it's crowd control. And crowd control. Uh, thank you, Winters, for the meteor strike and the tornado. And Howie, thank you for the uh, thunderstorm earlier. Seek shelter immediately if any is available. A tornado has touched down in the area. Seek shelter immediately if any is available. Where's the tornado? I can't even see the freaking tornado. Oh, I see the tornado. That's a... Holy crap, that's a huge storm. That's outside of the map. That's impressive. It is coming this way, though. In fairness. Oh, pedestrian bridges. Okay. I will simply not use pedestrian bridges for now until I get the update to the uh, mod. I think we're probably okay. That's a million miles away. I hope these new wall-to-wall -wall buildings... Oh, God, I just remembered. Um, we have something very important we need to do. We have the Orville here. That's my ore industry. We've also got Kent Square. I think we're going to rename... These ridiculous numbers of trees that I planted here in an effort to reduce noise do have an unfortunate tendency to reduce this entire area to cinders. And we're still gaining money, that's good. <laughs> it's a cinder block, you're saying? Yes, basically.
Okay, we'll call that the wheat field orchards for no particular reason other than that it's agricultural. And agricultural specialty. And then It's been a mixed bag tonight, Mr. Soggy Roman. How are you doing? Had to go on a YouTube binge for a bit to calm down last evening. Found a friend of mine got beaten. Oh, God, and had to spend a night in the hospital. He's doing fine, but knowing who did that to him, you had to calm down or you would have done something bad. The last thing we need is violence, cultivating violence. Your shorts helped me. Oh, that's really awesome, Jared. I'm glad that it was able to help. I'm glad to hear it, Mr. Soggy Roman. I haven't posted any new shorts in a while. I've been sort of getting the hang of the new video editing stuff. But I'm going to do a bunch more of them soon because I've really learned a lot about the video editing stuff very recently and I think I can push them out a lot faster going forward, hopefully. A tornado has touched down in the area. Seek shelter immediately if any is available. Calm down, it's the same tornado. It's okay, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna speed this up a bit. I wanna reduce my temptation to just spend money over and over and over and over again. I wanna actually build up a bit of a surplus here if I can. No, Mr. Soggy Ramen, no. Not even as a joke. Feel bad for all the animals I may have heard with that tornado. Okay, so this is our new neighborhood. We do have a lot of demand for residential, I guess. Do a little bit here. what looks weird. We've got a uh, power line right here. Only 39 passengers. 
Be oh. I forgot about the academic year. We were going to try to improve its uh, appeal, weren't we? Three new academic works. We lost a few students. We, how, whoa, we lost attractiveness. That's not good. World music, comprehensive collection of music and instrumentals, th instruments throughout the world. City sounds, collection of sounds recorded in cooperation with the city workers who listen to them all day, every day. Thank you for the meteor strike, Jarig. Invisible Chirper, a collection of poems that claim to reveal what cannot be seen. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. I think residents are probably fine. Oh, right. Water. People are very needy about their water. Gord is enjoying how toothless our attacks are at the moment. Yes, I am. Oh my god, we're out of money again. How? What did I spend money on that cost that much that fast? I'm not seeing any redemptions on Embezzle, no. Yeah, but the red is a little bit, uh, it, it, it goes up and down. It kind of fluctuates. Luckily, it seems to stay red for only short periods of time. Yeah, we're not currently invested in anything, Mr. Zoggy Roman. Satisfied presidential demand. Oh, and developing down here. That's good. That means we that. Tax rate is 12 across the board. Wow. That's a lot of high density taxes. Holy crap.
Yeah, I definitely think we need more snow plows in the city. Oh, I think I can... Wrong type of road here at one point. used a six lane road at some point. There is one way to directly hit your city's citizens, but that way, that's way too easy. You prefer the randomness. What's the way you have in mind? Out of curiosity. Are you talking about the Thanos snap? Because honestly, I've experienced that a few times, and it really seems to be very temporary in nature. The city recovers really quickly from it. Like, I barely even notice it. It would be a lot worse if people died and, uh, you know, actually left a corpse. That would basically be an instant death wave, and that would have serious implications for the city. But the way that the Thanos snap works now, you'll hardly notice it. they actually left corpses behind when they vanished. That would actually probably be the worst disaster the city could face, if the city were large. So direct, but still toothless. Yep, basically. Oh, we're starting to get some noise pollution, are we? be the area of the city where we experiment with really huge coniferous trees on all the streets and see how silly or good it might look. Oh, 
always shying away from it before because of it, it kind of looks ridiculous, but it might actually be nice. Let's fix it later if I don't like it. So far, it looks okay. I think it maybe looks better on the double wide streets. Hey, Greeny, how's it going? It's good to see you. Thank you, Aaron Lar. vanished. Now, that also happened directly after this business shut down. There could be a contributing factor there. We'll find out shortly, I suppose. Yeah, I get distracted by these games, Greeny. It's been a bit of a day. I'm a little frazzled. Not so bad now, but... Especially at the start of stream, I was pretty present. Okay, so that's looking better. People are complaining less anyway. What is this thing? Oh, that's the high school. Wow. I guess I'm not used to what that building looks like. How's the airport looking better? Good. Okay. You know what? No, no. I regret that instantly. I'm not doing that. Also, this road is... Why is this... It's in progress again, folks. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. 
What the hell was that? That was not me. I didn't do that one. This room is in lockdown, but don't worry. I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. That's an excellent idea. When you desperately need all troops available at your side, be sure to lock them in their rooms and force them to use an override that they may not know. Watch out for that. Yeah, that. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. <laughs> Say it. Say it. No. <laughs> Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes! Now get lost. <laughs> <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Fan service. I'm getting a credit. Oh, whoa! Well, that happened. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch the magic. Why does it do tricks? I probably ought to kill that guy. Where are you? Oh. I'll look for you, friend, when at last you return to Shaw's Hall. The honor will be ours when you rejoin the ranks of Solid Guard. This is so freaking cool. I love it. When you're ready to rejoin the living, just bid me so, and I will send you back. Return now to me, with this rich boon from shore, my lord. Okay, we are back, and I can't believe I finished Skyrim back in August. That's close to half a year ago now. Where the heck is time gone? Thank you, Aranar. I'm waiting for them to send somebody to clear this chronically snowed in route around the upper level of the airport entranceway here. They're doing it. They're doing it. They're actually clearing it. I'm impressed. You think Twitch went out on your end for the past 20, 30 minutes? Oh, I'm so sorry, California. Mostly, I've been... Waiting for... Oh, that's... Wow, that's actually taken a steep dive, hasn't it? I'm trying not to spend crazy amounts of money because I got rid of the money mod. And I don't know yet for sure whether or not we're okay. I mean, we haven't gone bankrupt yet without it, but we'll see. Oh, they 
Kept the trash, too. Impressive. Oh, I just... I remembered something. We haven't provided power over here, and I just remembered why. I should be able to get rid of all of these little power lines now. Because I installed a mod that provides power transfer via road connection. Uh, I didn't mean to get rid of that, actually. The subject had come up previously about why the game didn't allow an option to do underground wires that are not subject to being battered about by storms. And I went looking for a mod that took care of that. And the best I found was one that allows power transfer by road connection. One can assume that there are power lines buried underneath the roadway. And so I thought that was a really good idea. And so I put that in. So we could probably eliminate most of this ridiculous wire nonsense now. will also help with our budgeting. Oh, I should maybe leave one of these, actually. I think you do still need to connect your power generators at some point to the network. Tinderbox is on fire again. Lovely. Great. Just what we need. Perfect. Oh, it's not just the Tinderbox. This is all on fire, too. Beautiful. Oh, yes. I hope you all brought marshmallows. Oh, for an extra dose of irony, I do believe... No, never mind. Okay, no, it's over here. I thought for a moment this was actually the fire station that I built in this area during one of the previous massive fires. This one doesn't even qualify as a massive fire, by the way. For this area of the map, this is actually just a little spark. Hey, Hammer, how's it going? Good to see you. You're doing well tonight? Yeah, it looks like the fires are mostly under... here is over. Probably trust the hella choppers to get rid of the last little bit of fire over there. Where's that airport again? Oh, right back here.
They're getting grimy again. And dirty. Grimy and grimy. Ultra modern two story terminal. Airport level two of three. Wait, we leveled up? When did we level up? Passenger count? We've got more than enough passenger count. Attractiveness score is kind of crap, though. How are we not making any income from this? How is the income precisely zero? Excuse me? I like that that shifted all the cars that were parked on the side of the road into here. Really nice little touch. just zoom around here. I do find it a little puzzling. They don't seem to use this lower street as much. Personal electric transport? Wow. Driving to a parking spot, leaving the city. I love that they have those. It's amazing that they don't use the sidewalk, they use the actual city street. doing the thing again. They're actually clearing the roads. I love it. I kind of want to work on developing the airport more, but I'm still concerned about our cash flow situation. We're getting up there, though. We're at, like, 200k. I want to say when we get to 500k, I'm going to feel a little bit better about our situation. I'll be fairly confident that we're all right at that point. But I want to develop the airport. I also want to particularly get this stuff developed over here, because this is such a good agricultural area. And our, you know, our uh, farm industry over here really needs to be moved over. So I think maybe what we might do, how does that interact with the rest of the rail network city? So it joins up over here. Oh, it's a pretty busy area, actually. Holy crap, look at that. Right. Do full scale mansions just yet. But I think
Okay, what the heck? Why is this forcing its way down? Is that a setting I have here? Forces the ground to follow the elevation of the road? No. Forces the use of elevated pieces? No. Normal, unmodded. It's probably the anarchy setting. I've probably been using that this whole time and not even realizing. That's on me. Nope, it's still doing it. Yeah, that's exactly what I did, California. After you suggested it. There. That also works. That also works. Now, I had something in mind for why I was doing this, and I don't remember. Oh, right. I actually do remember. Never mind. I want to rough in where we're going to put the cargo train. And maybe a commuter train, too, actually. We've got train networks over here, and that'll help get people to and from this area. They'll probably have a residential area maybe out here. Nice if people can train areas, train lines to get to and from the city. So, okay, what the heck? Where did my dirt roads go? Uh oh, oh, that is the dirt road. Never mind. Being me.
have to be a little further out. Oh, is there actually... Is there a combined cargo and passenger station by any chance? Ferry and bus exchange. Plaza. Crossover train station. Elevated and a sunken level. No, okay. Old market station. Glass box. Metro and train. Okay. Sunken island platform. I already used that elsewhere. Sunken bypass metro. Elevated bypass. Ground bypass. Ground dual island platform train station. Ground island platform. Elevated island platform. Elevated dual island platform. I love all the variations. Bypass, elevated bypass, historical train station. Actually, that would be a fun one to use over here. Might use something like this over this way. That would be cool. Uh, oop. Got a very variety of bridges. Okay. So no, no combination cargo and passenger line. Which, honestly, probably not a pair of stations you really want to mix all that much, in fairness. So we will content ourselves with just a cargo for now. that yellow oh. oh I can do a harbor now it's realized I have access to the lines what is the purple line I'm not familiar with that one Are those air routes? No, never. Do cargo here. You know, I probably shouldn't have actually built it right now. It's... it's fine. Thank you. 
bakery in over here. Why wouldn't we? We need that for our other area anyway. And... There. in so I'm gonna do what are these uh, crop greenhouses not there so I've got room to upgrade this road because I'm inevitably going to want to upgrade that road that's almost a given. That's the main one. Oh. Ah. Okay. I already want to upgrade this road. I haven't even opened this area yet, and I already need to upgrade the road. Just because I've thought that I'm going to want to eventually. there. That back there. Now... That's eight, so we need a sixteen spacing. That's twelve. money I've already spent. I had like 150k. Ridiculous. Water or power, rather, should not be an issue because road transfer, but water is still a problem.
going to kick this off to a little start. Mostly so that we've got the bakery. And we'll have to allow them to get their own stuff out here by road or rail or however they intend to do it. I'm not done with the water, apparently. Now we're running out of money again. That's awesome. How is it so easy to spend so much money? And also, let's not pause the game. That running. That's a pretty hefty loss we're taking there. I really hope that turns itself around. That was fast. Flower, crops, animal products, what the heck? Cargo train terminal importing goods to Mega Shopping Center. is positive again our, our, our current cash isn't but our income oh my god what is with these in wow it has absolutely wild fluctuations doesn't it may have either just saved the city or possibly doomed it entirely. It's a little early to say which. Let's sing the doom song now.
I probably should have just not spent all that money and waited until I had a nice surplus of a million or so. We're out of the hole again. That's a pretty impressive income, I have to say. I mean, I know it's not going to last, but still, encouraging. Very encouraging. While we've got a little cash, I'm going to try to keep myself restrained a bit, but... Probably use a flour mill in the area. Let's just do a little work in this area. Get that out. God. Holy crap. They're not kidding about it being a large warehouse. Oh my God. Look at that thing. This is going to be for... How much did that... Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, that cost a fair bit. I mean, it's not the worst, but uh, we're going to do unique factory products here. Balanced mode. Oh, right, because that wasn't on a road, so it needed a power connection, but now we've given it a massive power connection. So good. And that was not what I was actually looking for, though. Where is... Prepare for incoming traffic jam of epic proportions. Oh, here it comes. Oh my god. Oh boy. Yep, okay. And here's where I think I... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yep, okay. 
it begins. Academic year report. We make up more academic works. We gain students this time. We continue to lose campus attractiveness. I should give you a report on that. 28 chirps later. Reimagined student project of a chir chirper globe winning classic film. Chirpinator. There's no mod that can erase this bird. 3D science fiction film packed with action. The Dazzling Unicorn. A colorful superhero comic book of a free-spirited unicorn wanting to do good in the world. Created by C.O. Bestest. No, it's not part of a DLC. It's part of the university's expansion. Or, uh, I don't think they call it universities in this game. It's like the campus one or something. But uh, it uh, greatly expands on the education system and specifically on universities and... Uh, I'll show you. We have our proper... Like, you you can still just build the university building if you want to. But we've got a proper university campus set up here. So we've got the liberal arts administration building. There's different types of universities. You can go liberal arts. You can go... What's, what's this one? That's liberal arts. You can do a trade school. You can do just a your university campus area, you can add in varsity sports, you can do all kinds of stuff. Yes, you do have to buy the expansion. Okay, we're going to turn this into a timed traffic light. Actually, I'm going to add. There. Just to keep some semblance of order in all this. Problem is, I set these to balanced mode, and. So they're going to import t crap tons of stuff, and now everything's going to be backed up and go to hell. That's not part of vanilla. Yep, yeah, you just asked what it was. I told you what it was, man. <laughs> okay. So this is going to be a traffic nightmare for a while. And that's just because all of these grain silos are importing stuff. I think this is not necessarily going to need to import a crap ton of unique factory products, thankfully. But there's going to be... Yeah. Metric buttloads of trains coming in with stuff for the import lot. And this is just going to be a disaster. But once they get filled up to the point that they try to maintain, it'll clear. Okay, I wonder if maybe this would be better off. We don't have to have every road in this area be...
better. That still looks scary as hell. Oh my god, yeah. But it could be worse. We've dealt with worse. We have a little bit of a buffer of cash. Gonna stop spending for a bit. See if we can grind out this dip in our income. Oh, right. Services. We've got crime going on. That's fun. On the plus side, this looks like it's starting to clear. Oh. Hey. The police are on the... Wow, okay. So they're better at responding to farm complaints than they are to airport complaints. That's good to know. Okay. The mad import crush is over. Storage. Two of 750 tons of unique factory products. Okay, and now we're back to having a pretty high demand for residential again. Maybe we'll develop a little bit of the residential in this area, actually. Let's go extend. Send that out a little ways. get the starts of a little neighborhood over here. So we will do a little bit of commercial. Just because we've got this here and this here, we maybe we'll just do all of that commercial. It's closer to the warehouse. That'll be our kind of sound buffer area. And... 
fill in some of the rest of this. Some light residential. Shoot. What happened? Eating availability should be okay. Shouldn't it? Oh. Oh. One would think it should be okay, except I just used regular water pipes all out here. Money situation is green again. Guess what we can do then. station. Probably connect it up eventually with the rest of the grid, but for now I think that'll be fine. Okay, they're gonna want some... Oh, actually, no. We really don't have any demand for industry or offices. It's been a million years since we had any industrial demand at all, actually. It's all residential and commercial. Is it possible to get rid of all polluting industrial zoning and just have educated offices? Hey, Romney. Um... I think once your city gets big enough to the point that you can naturally, legitimately get monuments, that might become possible. I'm probably not familiar enough with the game yet to be able to answer that with 100% certainty, though. Like, I play this game a fair bit, but I tend to play the early parts of the city a lot more than the later parts. And that sounds like a late game kind of situation to be in. I can imagine it would be possible, but probably tough to do. Maybe a lot easier depending on what kind of monuments you get. Yes, you can, and offices provide goods for commerce, too. Okay, interesting, Aranlar. Good to know. One and a half minute warning, by the way. We'll have ads. 
in one and a half minutes, roughly, give or take. So I'm going to take a quick break when that happens. And then if you guys need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack, that'll be a real good time to do it. Still got a little bit of commercial demand here, so I'm gonna pop a little bit more in this way. Just there, and... There. See what springs up. Yes, but it's a good excuse to get snacks, California, or a good time to get them. A particularly good time to get them, because you'll only be missing the clip. Speaking of, like it's about time for me to go and do that now, so if you guys will bear with me, I'll be back in just a few. What are these clowns thinking they're doing? Oh my god, did I actually get one? that the jeeps are self-correcting when they flip over. Maybe even gaining the advantage over... What? How are there... Where are you? What? Rude. So I'm kind of controlling or attempting is uh, it's not possible. Listen, there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us it's that life uh, finds a way. So the missing handle was booby trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> <laughs> Then I use my cleverness to hide. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Hello. Yes, what is it? You didn't need that shoulder, did you? I guess not. I'm bigger than him. I'm no bully. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. What? You idiot. This isn't very refreshing. I guess you forgot about our bottomless mug policy. Thank you. Examine a hole. Whatever is in that hole just enjoyed lunch on you. This should teach you to be cautious when encountering alien holes. Thank you for playing Space Quest. Too bad you failed miserably. <laughs> oh. I hope that was a cat that I tossed off the mountain.
Whoa! That was a hell of a ragdoll. I want to try one more time. <laughs> Here, catch. Oh, that didn't work. Try again, will you? Come on. You got a shot. Nope, 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 not you. There we go. That's better. Thank you. Oh, yeah, this is good. Why would I do that, Aranar? It's amazing how little I care about the stalkers these days. Okay, I'm back. Thank you, Bob. Every KSP game you play. Are you looking forward to number two? That's the reason I've been playing that one again, is because the second one is coming out soon. I can't wait. It's going to be so good. Okay, we've got ridiculous demand for residential. Let's carry on. about that. I was kind of concerned. Pop that there. We're going to put it in a high school, maybe up here. Need some parks. We need to improve our land value. snowmobile track though that and we'll put in a large playground across from the elementary school go don't really have a gaming rig ksp1 amazingly plays fine with minimum settings on my flea of a machine that's awesome scuffed that's not a bad game to be able to play i have a real good time with it every time i load into there it's so good. I think we'll just leave those as empty bits for now at least. bit of high density right here. There's the oh right. Water. 
Just tamed a dodo bird. What's that in, Bob? Ah, uh, yes, Ark. Okay. Makes sense. Your first ever tame. Very nice. Congratulations. I know we talked about it a little bit on Discord, but for the benefit of those in uh, in stream who aren't on the Discord, we've been talking a bit about Ark Survival Evolved there, and... Now, I used to stream that game, actually, but that was a long, long time ago. I don't think I've really done much in Ark since... 2015, maybe 2016? As far as transit goes, now I'm. We've spent a bit. Our money's a little down. I'm gonna wait. Once we get to up to three hundred thousand, I'm gonna put in a commuter rail, and I'm gonna create a new rail line connecting the um, like or a new stop, so that the passenger line that we've established elsewhere in the city, way over this way. It, it can link into this as well. And we can establish higher speed, easier transit between the areas. I think that'll be good. thought of something actually I have basically a citywide no high rise policy I need to make sure that I get rid of it for this area because I want this to be built up and ridiculously overdeveloped or not overdeveloped but highly developed so oh geez this is all different districts okay so never mind Cooper Heights we want City planning. No high rise ban. No, no. No high rise ban. Crescent Coast. Also, no high rise ban. Now, I haven't checked. Our services. Health actually looking pretty okay. We have a lot of sick citizens, but healthcare availability is looking nice. Uh, though, that said, you guys here could probably benefit from a clinic. Now that I think about it. We will pop one of these in. Not right there. There's our road. Just off the main road. So people going in don't slow traffic down on it. Now it doesn't look like it matters much because this just ends here, but that's going to continue. And this is going to be our route to the uh, the um, train station that I mentioned. So that's going to be a through route, and I don't want traffic slowing down. So I'm going to pop this in right here. Death care. Cemetery usage. Wow, okay, so that's that's getting up there. Let's make sure we get a crematorium down here as well. 
right next to the hospital will inspire confidence in all of our citizens. Trade that one. We're going to drag this out. There, why not? What am I going to do? I was going to bring this down. Okay, we're spending money again, but this is kind of important money. You need a local constabulary. Police in there. And we'll get the fire in there. And of course they want water. Why would they not want water? Those guys are busy building up a little bit. I want to see what's happening over. Holy crap. Okay. So this area seems to like the high-rise lift restrictions I lifted. Oh, right. That's our bank. I forgot about that. Oh, do we have a show going on? On here. Lily the Rue is back in town. Excellent. Oh, I forgot we can be increasing prices a bit. Everybody 40. Popularity's gone up quite a bit since we started having shows here. So, wow, a lot of visitors to the pan zone. Workers. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe in that case, and we go up. density here here so back to the highway there
push her in there. Ever-popular water is going to be a thing, too, of course. Occurs to me I have been paying attention to the intersections very well either. Oh, so let's take care of that. Things are looking pretty okay here. Except for my, um, my claim that I was going to stop spending money for a while. That obviously didn't happen. use a local one of these. Actually, that's a good point, too. Garb, no. Ooh. Processing status, not so great. Huh. Well... Send this down here. The local recycling center down this way. Of course, they too are going to want water.
Okay, we're back up to 195. We don't actually have a local flour mill. And that's a thing that needs to Let's see how much the flour mill costs before I can. Bakery, oh, it, it is unique. It, oh, I guess we could do the lemonade factory, couldn't we? He says crop and glass. Do I do we produce glass? Remember if we're producing glass yet. This is not how nature meant the fruits to be grown. Free the fruits. Hashtag free the fruits. I like it. Processing buildings. Flour mill. agriculture area. We can do better than this. Wheat field, orchards, agriculture. Okay, yeah, so it just dinged up to level 2, it's headed up towards level 3, it's got 156 workers. Got about a Oh, actually California, that did go through. Sorry, I just didn't notice. Let me do that. This is not a bad time for it. Thank you for that. I could uh, I could definitely use the stand-up time, I think. We are about to have ads in about a minute or two. So I'm going to be taking another break, but... Uh, once I'm back, I'll keep standing for a while. Eventually, I'm going to have to sit back down again, but... Uh, we'll see how long I can last this time.
Not enough special goods. What are they? Oh. Lots of crops. They've got some flour, but set up yet to do any animal products here. Let's take care of that, shall we? Small fruit greenhouse, medium fruit greenhouse. We need the animal stuff. Small pasture. Don't want any stinking small pastures. Oh, we can't do the large animal pasture yet. We need a level 5 farming area. Okay, that's fine. We'll do these. Oh, shoot. Not so bad. End up time. What's the deal with all these meteor strikes? Oh, crap. Ads are in progress. I'll be back in a minute. And now these guys are back. What the hell? There we go. Two for one. It just isn't done. What humiliation will you use on me next? A comb? <laughs> okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. How about a Rancor burger? I'll take care of it as soon as I can, Mission. For now, let's stay focused on the task at hand. Oh my god, they just... Oh, <laughs> and it's on fire. Oh, it's a... Uh, wow. The ice cube factory's on fire. You know your city has problems when. Ah! Jeez! Oh god! That was not the best plan. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Um... At least I got meat. <laughs> I just want to go home and read. I know the feeling. Take it. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. <laughs> Oh no, we're doing pretty decently so far. I'm sorry, I didn't actually mean to kill you. But the okay, I am back. Thank you. 
Okay, so here... Oh, uh, of course. While I'm thinking about it. You guys are undoubtedly... What do you need space? Oh. Right. Oh, right. right. Um, that's territory where they've got the water hookup, but not the heat hookup. Okay. RVP, how are you doing? It's good to see you. These tool placement sound effects are oddly ASMRing me. People get triggered for that reaction by all kinds of stuff. Sometimes does it for me too. Now. Got a large barn. There. That's on a yeah. That's on a traffic light. Okay, be good. Holy crap! What is going on here? Why is there so much traffic coming in? Oh, well, there we go. Animal products, okay. Bakery is working. We're making a profit now, finally. Have a great night, Bob. Thank you so much for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Catch you again soon. All this traffic, holy crap! Okay, I ugh, no, I'm I'm I refuse. I am not building a commuter train service when we've got our, you know, the dip in our income is at its peak, or getting there at least. Once it evens out, we're back in the green again. I'll splurge and we'll get ourselves a commuter train service. Got to decide where to do it. I was kind of thinking up here originally, but now I was thinking down here. Except now I built out here, and I'm sure the noise. Let me look at the noise. Yeah, we're a little bit too close. I don't want to do that. So I'll do the commuter train station up here and they can use this as the main way down to the city. Oh, 
Oh, we're back up again. Okay, so we can do it. So, I'm gonna come through here. Let's go 24 over. 12 down, 24 over. Do a couple of broken blocks there. Mostly so the street cleaners can get around. Might. No, that's parks. Want trains. Probably use one of these fancy schmancy ones. Actually, no. Keep it simple. Yeah, that road's got to be longer. Okay. Pop that in there. Now we're not done yet. I need to see if it's possible to link up a line. Where's our commuter line? Here we go. I need to add a stop. Did that work? I don't know if that worked. That doesn't look like it worked. God, where is it? Oh, here we go. Cannot find path? You gotta be kidding me! What do you mean you cannot find a path? This is your path right here. It exists, I swear. Oh, that's annoying. You can get there. Okay, I'm gonna try creating a more direct path. Let's see if this will allow me to do it. Okay. Will that work? <laughs> Irritating.
What do you want from me, game? I could fake it out a little bit. Not right now. Oop. Hey, kept its attractiveness improved. Sure, that works. We gained a lot of students. Citizen Bluebird, a cinematic masterpiece that defies the way films are made. Ultra Natural, web series following two brothers handling everyday chores and embracing the loyalty and respect between them. The Great Chirpy, a literary masterpiece that one will simply want to finish in one sitting. 1001 Chirps, a collection of the most famous chirps. And we won a sp sports trophy. That is freaking frustrating. I can't believe it's not letting me connect the line. I'm wondering if I stick a station over here. That would be a much shorter hop from here and then from here to here too. I don't necessarily have to keep the station and make it operational long term. All I need to do is get it to recognize that the link exists. signed. I'm going to save before I do this. Because this is kind of expensive for an experimental procedure. Oh, that's a bridge too. That's going to be annoying. Put a road there. That there. The entire map is within my land, Watai. I have all 81 squares. problem with I. That could also be the problem, though. It's conceivable that's actually the problem. I'm wondering if maybe the area is so big that it's having trouble calculating, which is why I'm putting this just kind of out here. What do you mean, pet? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Trailed to the road section. I'm clever. In case you haven't noticed. Let's try that instead. And I will also 
be generous and even provide them with temporary power. And water, too, because... Uh, hmm. Temporary water tower. I'm wondering if once I establish the link, that might just serve as kind of a footstep so that it says, hey, we can get here. What do you mean? You. <clears throat> It's a straight shot right from frickin' here. How can you not find a... Uh. Oh, you know what? Is it... No, that looks like it's working fine. So that spur is working. It's connected in. It's going. Trains are running. So it's not that. Maybe even that's too far? Or maybe it's just not functional yet? Operating normally, okay, in theory. At least. Let's see. Oh, okay. There's another thing I can try. Maybe if I can't add a path, it's because I'm trying to add it between this and the next stop. Maybe I need to instead... Can I... There. If I move the stop instead... Only started this game once and failed to go beyond the launcher. No worries, no worries. I'm just gonna call this a bad adventure. No train service for you fine folks, I'm afraid. We're gonna have to rely on something else instead. I'll set up an express bus for now. And then we'll do a local service bus, too.
Yeah, I don't think this uh, this road here is cutting it anymore. That was fast. How quickly that stopped cutting it. We're going to upgrade that to a four lane, I think. I'm just going to let it run for a little while. We'll see how the bus service looks like it's doing and react accordingly. It's going to take a while for the buses to actually arrive here, though. Oh, speaking of uh, an express, probably make a bus line straight to the airport, shouldn't I? I don't currently have one. people. Double Decker Airport Bus. Perfect. Or, no, we'll go Articulated Airport Bus. Oh. Looks like it's about time for my last, probably my last break of the evening. At least my last schedule break of the evening. If I end up going long, I might take one more. But uh, I'm going to go... We're going to have ads playing in less than a minute, so I'm going to run some clips, and I'll be right back in just a few. Also going to sit back down, I think. Okay, so be right back. Psst. Hey, I know who you are. Hey, Sithis. Guard. Guard. Arrest this man immediately. There are many sand pits around Sandrock which contain a variety of fish. What? Purple star?
There you go. Oh yeah, this is good. Why would I do that, Aranar? Hey guys, yeah, yeah, drop yeah, the yeah, anchor. Yeah, drop the anchor! I'm not, I'm fixing a hole. Drop the oh, anchor. No. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did, no. did somebody drop the anchor finally? Or? Drop <laughs> the freaking anchor. Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I, sorry for um, that. Oh. Now oh, something. So we're gonna clip of that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, I guess those are the quote unquote dead Ewoks. Whoa. Oh. What the hell? Ten, nine, eight. Here it comes. It's coming from the building. Change course. Set thrusters to full. It's just fireworks, right? Okay. I am back. Oh my god. How many times now? You know, I should probably build this area its own fleet of firefighting helicopters. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see, the Orville. Are there any more policies that might help? Oh, actually, how oh. is education in the city? This all used to be uh, Industry 4.0. High school availability is looking. Good. Elementary is the good. University capacity is good. Public library usage. Better. Uneducated still at 36%. Well educated only 9%. Oh, crap. God, I screwed the city so bad when I got rid of that Hadron Collider. Painful. All right, well, we'll just leave them on their own for now. It'll be fine. Worst that can happen. Let's follow the bus for a little bit. They used to be highly educated. Then I got rid of the Hadron Collider and everything crashed. 
Never remove the Hadron Collider once it's been in your city for a little while. Okay, we might need to increase the capacity of our buses here. Exit, wow. What is with that? What is with this bus stop here? Holy crap, I thought I fixed that. Oh my god. Okay, what's the red line? Pretty passengers. That's already the articulated 80. 237 people. Yeah, I'm not going to panic because, you know, buses with 80 capacity, they're going to go through there. But, oh, maybe... How many stops do we have on the line? We have four vehicles. Six stops. Let's do seven buses. Actually, let's do five buses. This part of the line is actually doing okay. Eleven vehicles. I hardly think you need eleven vehicles, especially because they're articulated freaking buses with oh my god. You know what? Uh okay, eleven seems unnecessary, but that's actually getting quite a bit of ridership. Keep an eye on that one. I'm not going to change it for now, but I'm surprised at how popular that is. How about this one? Oh, that's... yeah, okay. I'm not going to change the number of buses. Oh my god, 20? 
Okay. 20 buses. Let's swap them out for higher capacity buses. <laughs> Now, I was noting as we were coming along here, um, no, so, so we have no other connections along that highway. Traffic seems to slow down here some. Actually, it's, it's here. Let's upgrade this. No. No, oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, no. No! We're just going back to what it was before. Oh god, I hate it when this happens. It's so particular. Fine. You have one weird anomalous little bit of uh, four lane traffic that I'm not gonna worry about anymore. And actually, it seems to help traffic flow quite a bit, so I yeah, don't need to worry about it. is doing pretty good. Well, it was. Got enough resource units. We just need some workers here. You know, I'm still kind of convinced that the city might be a little bit screwed just because it's seriously... I haven't seen any demand whatsoever, not the tiniest little hint of an increase since the Hadron Collider incident. It's like something has completely disabled industrial demand. Your voice never fails me. I think I'm finally going to get some sleep soon. I'm very glad to hear it, Jarek. Have a good night, and I will catch you again soon. Okay, I think this road needs a bit of an upgrade as well. So we're going to go to our large roads. And I think we'll do six lane road with median trees and bus lanes for this. And actually we're going to do the same along here. I don't know if that's actually going to make it better. I think the bus lanes might end up hurting us. It seems like a nice thing to do. We might do this instead, actually. It's the way I've got the traffic manager mod set up. Only the buses will be able to use the bus lanes, except, you know, buses and emergency vehicles, actually. But, um... That's definitely not going to help us with the rest of our traffic woes. Yeah, that looks like it's working significantly better. I like that. Is 
This road up here, that's relatively low traffic, I think. So we're going to do... That'll probably end up helping even more. Look at that flow. Oh, our buses are arriving. <laughs> it arrived and it's already full. There's so many of them arriving all at once. Okay, I have to look at the line details. What is happening? Oh my god, that ridership! Holy crap! I'm really regretting not having that train line now. We'll see if we can make it work with buses, but if I can't, I might have to drag the subway up. do have them set to be able to dynamically change their route and whatnot to a much greater degree than vanilla, so I guess he just got creative with his routing.
Okay. What's the line details? Such a freaking popular line. I was thinking I could, I mean, I probably could afford to reduce the number of vehicles, but they're getting used quite heavily and arriving frequently. I'm actually kind of afraid if I lower the number of vehicles, we might end up leaving people behind. That's so wild. speed at which these two stops are taking upwards is just blowing my mind. I could watch that all night. Not going to though. Let's go have a look at the more local bus service up here and see what's going on with this. Green line. Line details. Okay. Three vehicles. Pretty low usership. Surprising. This one, quite a bit more popular, interestingly. Might be because I've got this one going around the outer edge of the circuit and we've got some high density residential right here. I would probably bet that that's what's going on. Three stop, three vehicles on both, so that's not bad. And the number, uh, you know, the type of bus seems perfectly fine for this purpose. Those red buses, though. Man. Hey. This is going on. How's the airport doing? Whoa! That's a lot of passengers all of a sudden. We have more incoming than outgoing passengers. That's interesting. Okay. So, we're going to need to pay more attention to our attractive score at some point, clearly. And we might indeed need to, uh, you know, uh, upgrade to our island or to you know, have these be the airport islands or something like that. I don't know how that's going to go. Now that we've got access to everything, take a look at natural resources. So we've got that. We already had this. We've already got this set up to do oil industry. We've got this down here. Do oil over here. Oh! Well, isn't that interesting? I didn't realize that 
airport island was also an oil island. Although it doesn't look like the highest capacity oil island. We've got some ore over here and here. We've got more agriculture there, more ore here. Lots of oil over back that way. Okay. And of course, my ridiculous artificial forestry line right across the highway there. Okay, how is that looking? Oh, looks like there's either been another... F yeah, I'm guessing that's been another fire. Somebody's doing some importing. All the traffic is snarled up again. How's this looking? Okay, that's looking very dense. Not a bad thing. All right. All right, guys. I'd love to keep going. I'm having a blast playing this, and it was exactly the game I needed tonight, but I do have to get going. I will be back tomorrow. Not sure what we're going to play tomorrow. Tomorrow's Maker Monday. We could do more of this, but I've also been... Kind of feeling a bit of an urge to get back to some Dwarf Fortress as well, so that's also a fantastic maker game. Whatever it ends up being, though, you know it's going to be a good time. So uh, let's say we find somebody to go raid, shall we? Thank you all for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Okay. Who's on? One person. Simcopter. Oh, actually, no. We've got two people. Ms. Ash Rocks is on. She's playing Valorant. And Simcopter1 is playing Escape from Tarkov. Neither of them, I have to be honest, they're both amazing streamers. Both fantastic, really, really cool. Um, both of them are playing games I'm not hugely crazy about, but as streamers, they're incredible. Great friends, fantastic content creators. Thank you, Skep Norwegian, I really appreciate it. So if uh, any of those, if either of those... <laughs> Sounds appealing to you. If you are familiar with Ms. Ash Rocks or Valorant and you feel like watching, or if you're familiar with Simcopter 1 and Escape from Tarkov, then um, just let me know in chat. I'm actually kind of uh, leaning towards Simcopter a little bit. Just because I think he's a pretty good match for the type of energy that I've got going on. He's a very chill, very relaxed, very laid-back sort of guy, even though he's playing, you know, Escape from Tarkov, that tends to just be the general vibe of his stream, and I really appreciate that. Ms. Ashrox is fantastic as well. Uh, she's a very cozy streamer as well, but... Um... Might have to go with Sim tonight. I need to raid Ms. Ashrox again sometime soon, though. It's been a while. Been a while from both of them, actually. All right, folks, so let me get you Sim's raid call. Oh. Go. I mean, Sim's link, and now the raid call. So, folks, uh, here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the emote 
In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, maybe emotes from another streamer, or you know, if Twitch themselves have emotes that you'd like to use, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's head on over to Simcopter's channel, see how Escape from Tarkov is treating him, how he's doing this evening. I know he's been going through some stuff lately, so that's part of the reason I want to go visit with him, honestly. And uh, we'll see how he's doing, uh, check in with him. I will be back tomorrow night. I don't know yet what we're going to be playing. Might be Dwarf Fortress, maybe more cities. Whatever it is, it's going to be some sort of maker game, and I'm looking forward to that a great deal. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now. Serana. Oh my god. She made me fall through the floor. Oh good. I... I... <sighs> Serana! Get out of the way. Push power button. Push auto nav button. Pull throttle. <laughs> Please buckle your seatbelt first. Buckle seatbelt. Done. Pull throttle. Your door is a jar. No, my door is a door. Close pod door. Done. Pull. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was literally typing it. Gosh, Roger, it would appear you have met an untimely demise. With the explosive destruction of the Arcada, you become part of a fresh collection of space debris. I don't like your attitude. I'd better teach you a lesson while I bleed slowly to death right in front of you. This is gonna go great. 